In this video, OpenAI's large language models GPT-3, InstructGPT, ChatGPT and GPT-4 are explained. Transformer model was introduced in 2017. Since then, OpenAI pushed out GPT-1 and GPT-2 in 2018 and 2019 respectively based on the Transformer model. Fast forwarding to 2020, the capacity of Transformer language models had increased substantially from 100 million parameters to 175 billion parameters. OpenAI named this model GPT-3. The research community coined the term large language models for pre-trained language models of significant size, containing tens or hundreds of billions of parameters, trained on massive text data. By pre-training on a mixture of text data from diverse sources, large language models can acquire a broad scope of knowledge and may exhibit a strong generalization capacity. When mixing different sources, one needs to carefully set the distribution of pre-training data, since it is also likely to affect the performance of large language models on downstream tasks. In general, the existing large language models can be categorized into encoder-decoder architecture and newly decoder-only architecture. Since most language tasks can be cast as predicting next word based on the input, the decoder-only architecture are potentially advantageous to implicitly learn how to accomplish the tasks in a unified way. GPT-3, the same as GPT-2, uses a casual decoder architecture. It consists of 96 layers of transformer decoders. GPT-3 achieves strong performance on many natural language processing tasks, including translation, question answering, reading comprehension, textual entailment, and many others. However, these models may sometimes exhibit unintended behaviors, such as fabricating false information, pursuing inaccurate objectives, and producing harmful, misleading, and biased expressions. The language modeling objective is word prediction, which lacks the consideration of human values or preferences. To avert these unexpected behaviors, human alignment has been proposed to make large language models act in line with human expectations. In early 2022, InstructGPT was introduced to address the problems. OpenAI utilized the technique of reinforcement learning with human feedback. It was to incorporate humans in the training loop with elaborately designed labeling strategies. This technique used human preferences as a reward signal to fine-tune large language models. OpenAI hired a team of 40 contractors to label the data based on their performance on a screening test, then trained a reward model on this dataset to predict which model output labelers would prefer. Finally, this reward model was used as a reward function and fine-tuned the supervised learning baseline to maximize this reward using the proximal policy optimization algorithm. In late 2022, the launch of ChatGPT attracted widespread attention from society. ChatGPT is a powerful AI chatbot developed based on large language models, presents an amazing conversation ability with humans. ChatGPT shows the capabilities in a wide range of applications such as dialogue systems, text summarization, and machine translation, code generations, and other capabilities in natural language processing tasks. ChatGPT is a well-received product that is actually helpful to humans. Thanks to its good packaging, you may notice ChatGPT's user interface is more attractive than other similar products, such as Bing's Chat, Google's Bard, and Meta's Blenderbox 3. Unlike Meta's Blenderbox 3 or Microsoft's Bing Chat, ChatGPT does not use the format of messaging, left and right dialog boxes. Instead, ChatGPT is formatted as question and answers fields. In this format, users get longer and formal answers. Unlike Google's Bard, which displays the answer all at once, ChatGPT uses animation to display words by words. It gives an illusion that somebody is thinking and typing. ChatGPT also supports the use of plugins. By incorporating the extracted relevant information into the context, ChatGPT can acquire new factual knowledge and perform better on relevant tasks. The latest model from OpenAI is GPT-4. GPT-4 is a large-scale, multimodal model which can accept image, text inputs, and produce text outputs. 
GPT-4 exhibits human-level performance on various professional and academic benchmarks. OpenAI did not give out details about the architecture, including model size, hardware, training compute, dataset construction, training method, etc. But it is certain that GPT-4 was trained using an unprecedented scale of compute and data. GPT-4 demonstrates remarkable capabilities in a variety of domains and tasks, including abstraction, comprehension, vision, coding, mathematics, medicine, law, understanding of human motives and emotions, and more. GPT-4 considered as an early version of an artificial general intelligence system. Overall, GPT-4 still has many limitations. In some areas, GPT-4 does not perform well. In particular, it suffers from the problem of hallucinations or making basic arithmetic mistakes, like other large language models, also likely to produce toxic, fictitious, or harmful content. It requires effective and efficient control approaches to eliminate the potential risk of the use of LLMs. That is it for how ChatGPT works, large language models explained. I'm Vivian. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon.